Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you a really quick and easy way to make a diamond pattern and also a diagonal um, gingham or plaid. Having seen the virtual conference with Shara and Angela both asking about these, they're actually really simple to do if you use the pattern make tool in Illustrator. So I'm going to start off with the diamond first. I have my artboard here is 10 inches by 10 inches. So go over, let's make a simple square, holding down the shift key, pull out a square. And then using your selection tool, we're going to rotate this 45 degrees. So if you hold down your shift key, make sure you've got your smart guides on, then it will snap to that 45 degrees when you hold down the shift key. Now we're going to use the scale tool to scale this to make a diamond shape. So the scale tool is over here in your toolbar and just pull out either from the top or the bottom until you get a shape, diamond shape that you like. Then click back onto your selection tool and obviously the bounding box has changed now so I, I I hate that so I always change it reset it so if you go to object transform reset bounding box I just find that easier to work with so now the important thing is is to make sure that this is in whole numbers so if we have a look up here the width is 1.6 something and the height is 2.6 nine something so we need to make this a whole number now I look at that and I think the nearest whole number there is two and then the nearest whole number on this one is three so as long as you've got a whole number and the diamond shape that you want then um, this will work so now we need to repeat this diamond so hold down your option key and drag drag it out to make another one and again with because the smart guides are on it'll tell you where that is and it'll keep it perfectly straight we then are going to make um, another one so hold down your shift sorry your option key and drag again and this time you're going to put it at the bottom and then again repeat holding down your option key and repeat to the top. Now we need to change these two ones to a different colour. So hold them down and just choose a different colour. And then select all and now we're going to go into our pattern maker. So go to object, down to pattern and make. Just click OK. Now I have mine set so these are faded as you can see. So down here I've got number of copies so you can see the repeat pattern is 3 times 5 and I've dimmed my copies by 50% just so I can see that this is the one that I'm working with. Up here the tile type it needs to be brick by row. And these are basically different types of half drop repeats. So you've got brick by column and brick by row. For this particular design, it needs to be brick by row. And then down here, we need to size tile to art. The, the horizontal spacing stays at zero and the vertical spacing, if you use your down arrow key, and just keep going until there is no space in between. And there we have it. And if you just click done at the top here, this will put a pattern into your swatch. If you have a look in your swatch panel, you can already see that there's something there. So click done. Move that out of the way and then drag that's your repeat there now in order to use this to upload to um, print on demand such as Spoonflower or Society6 we need to make this um, 
like a rectangle. So we need to remove all of this because obviously you wouldn't be able to upload it as it is there. So this is really easy to do. You can do it a couple of ways. I'll show you both ways. So um, I like to always keep a copy of this. So you've got it in your swatches, but I will always keep a copy. So I'm going to, that's my master one. I'm going to drag it out again and work on this one. Now to make this rectangle that I find personally the easiest way for me is to use the shape builder tool. So make sure this is selected, go over to the shape builder tool. And now what you're going to do is hold down the option key so you can see that the uh, cursor turns to, it has a negative sign on it. And then you're just gonna go around the outside and get rid of all the extra bits on the outside. Click the selection tool and there you've got it. That is actually now ready to export out of Illustrator to make a JPEG or a TIFF file and upload to um, Spoonflower or whatever you need to do. In order to export it, you will need to make um, an artboard that is this exact same size. So if you have a look up here, it's a four by six. So that's fairly easy to do. Now let's test this pattern. I'm going to make a fat quarter size, so 21 by 18. This is just a rectangle here. Zoom out and make sure it's selected. And there's your repeat. Let's drag this in to show you that that works too. And there's the repeat. It's really fast and really simple. And then I would just save this whole document so you've always got these master files. Now I was going to show you the other way to make um, the repeat easy for for uploading to Spoonflower. So drag this out again. Now go up to, that's all grouped at the moment. So if you go to object ungroup and hold down your shift key and click off of everything. So you only have the bounding box selected. Now go to, now that is just a, if you have a look over here, it's a no stroke and no fill. That's your actual bounding box that makes you repeat patterns. So if you go up to edit, copy, edit, paste in front, and then object, arrange, bring to the front. You've now got another rectangle that's right at the very front. Uh, it's also got no stroke and no fill. That really doesn't matter. I could actually fill that with colour and it doesn't matter with what we're going to do. You're now going to select all of it, go to object, clip in mask, make. And there's your rectangle again. Now, the outside bits haven't disappeared. They're still there. So it's really important that you actually trim this after you've made the clipping mask. But I always like to keep an original copy. So again, drag that out. You go to your Pathfinder and trim. So that now is literally what it is, all the shapes, and that makes up the tile. And then you can drag that into your swatches panel and you've got the pattern again. So I'll just make this a plain color just to show you. And there's the pattern. I hope that helps. It's a lot faster than um, other ways you can make diamond patterns. And I think being smart and working faster is what we need to do as Karina says. So, um, and there's lots of options with this, lots of different colors. And again, as, um, Robin showed you really easy, easy way to change the colours on that will be to go up to the recolor artwork tool, click your colours there and just scroll through till you get colours that you like. So there we go. Hope that's really helped everyone. Um, and next I'll do the tutorial for doing the diagonal gingham.